Okay, so start. We're hey, folks. <laughs> nice to see you again. We're we're just John and I are just talking. I'm like, I should be hitting record. So we're just going to continue our conversation, and you'll just have to call us or uh, email or text us. Go up to pottymiles.com and uh, head out over to our social media and and just ask us what you missed. But go on, John. So okay. Well, how how much how, how much time? John just sold the condo, by the way, everyone. Or has an accepted. Oh, I offer. forgot where we were. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we're talking record, about. So automatically yeah, I, I did, it changes. Poof, gone. Exactly. <laughs> um, we, yes, so, we we were fortunate enough to get an offer that we accepted on the condo. So, as many of you may know, we uh, we didn't buy this to be a flip. We bought it a year and a half ago. Um, but our son and daughter-in-law and only granddaughter are in Florida because he got a job there. They moved there for her health and for both of them actually all, all three of them and uh so we decided you know what our only kid our only granddaughter uh, i guess we're going to florida because we can our jobs sure. both of our jobs are relatively since we're in the field are relatively mobile enough that we're uh blessed to be able to do that so right anyway so we have decided to build a house in florida we decided that six months ago and there has still not been a single shovel put in the ground oh wow <laughs> i know but I did talk to the builder yesterday, uh, day before, and he said uh, that the engineered plans are almost done, which is like the end game plans. And uh, then the next thing is getting permits. So I'm hoping within a month we can have something digging out there. We'll see. That's good. In the meantime, we're, we've talked, and as you know, if you've listened, and Nick, you certainly know, uh, what are we going to do now that we're going to be homeless because we're closing in September? <laughs> yeah. And I offered place. for him to, uh, to move in and he said, Jen was already offering. So I, you know, <laughs> she seems surprised. Then I said, I said and then he Lisa. said, right. <laughs> I don't uh, think that'll be a big surprise. She's uh, probably, no, she probably invited Lisa and just yeah. said, Oh yeah, John can come with too. Oh, John, John. Oh, you're still with him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it would be that. I, well, I mean, same thing went for me. I I was never invited to live in this house, so <laughs> and look what happened. I just and sh I showed up one day and I thought you were the, the rest of history. Man. I think that's I, what Jen. Thought. I think she thought. Well, she thought I was the pool guy. Well, at least that's what I <laughs> hope she thought I was. Well, we don't have a pool. Him. Look at him yeah. skimming the kitty pool <laughs> exactly exactly we have a bowl of water outside for the dogs yes know. yes a yeah. kitty pool and you're wearing a thong i'm sure <laughs> absolutely that's why would guys speaking do. of thongs yes oh, we'll good. get back to the house thing here in yeah. just a second oh, but speaking of thongs yeah. um Segway. we were trying to figure out something to watch tv about 30 minutes before peyton's bedtime last night and uh very first thing came out of her mouth because we have peacock uh, which is the the you know NBC blah 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 who also has the I don't know if they're exclusive but most of the rights to the Olympics. Oh. And Payton's like, is there any water polo on? So of course we pulled up water polo and watched America crush the ROC, and uh, that was fun. Even though they're not, I don't think they're in gold contention anymore. The U.S. Republic so of uh, it's no, it's the Russian Congo. the Russian oh. Olympic Committee because and they, Jen asked me this question too. <laughs> They they played the committee because and Russia as a guys oh, Russian. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, hoosh poopies. Um, no, the Russian Olympic Committee. Russia was actually banned as a country from the Olympics to compete in the Olympics because of a doping scandal. So to get around it, a lot of the athletes uh, are now part of the Russian Olympic Committee. So when they win, they don't play the national anthem. They play something from Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky. Wow. And uh, also, they oh. can't fly their flag. So they have their own little patch and their flag and stuff like that. So it's a way for them oh. to compete, but they're not ne they're not technically competing for their country. No, I'm I'm here. Uh, there you was a little there. there was a little bit. I had to I had a very low connection. Okay. And when I have a very low connection, I have a a, a what do you call it? Um, thing, a thing in my office <laughs> that not talking to the main router but the main oh. router is only a few feet down from me so i just pull that out of the wall and my signal boosts right up and then i plug it back into the wall faster so yeah sometimes it just it gets a little hiccup in it but hmm. interesting well now you're now on your john signal and your signal is fluctuating too but mine's 
holy green. Can you well, see that in the top left hand corner of the screen? I see. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. Hmm. Two so, out of five anyway, folks. Network connectivity. Where did I leave off on the ROC? Did you get all of that, John? Uh, I did. Otherwise, uh, other than the fact you you were just talking about Peyton looking for water polo, you watched it. Yeah. And we watched the it. U.S. defeated the ROC. Oh, the ROC. Yeah. Yeah. The and uh, of the Congo. <laughs> right. Hungary. Hungary crushed the Netherlands. Oh. But the okay. the whole thing with that is we were watching, and every time these people would get out of the pool, it's like. Okay, you didn't go in there with a thong, but you're all no one's fixing the the wedgie. No yeah. one's fixing the wedgie. Oh, right they're now. busy. They're busy. Yeah. I'm just they're... shocked that more horses don't drown in water polo. Right? I know. They're they're excellent swimmers. That's such a terrible joke. That was a pretty bad joke. Well, I, I, I tried to help you out there. I, I like maintained it. Joke. Yeah. Well, because you're a dad, you understand. Yeah. When dads uh, are I... drowning, you have to save them. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's so true. <laughs> Well, that's cool. So it was that was was that your first Olympic experience this year? No, we've watched a couple of water polo okay. events. We've watched the gymnastics, watched uh, the uh, the uh, I don't know what it's called, but it was basically the dressage part of the Olympics. Oh. Part of it, the one where they actually dance, the horse dances. Interesting. I call it dancing. I don't know what it's actually called. It's not the dressage. It's like that Peyton's learning right now. It's yeah, it's it's a type of prancing. Yeah. yeah. No. Very fancy prancing. We took silver in that. Uh, who took? I think oh, Germany. Silver, of course. Exactly. Germany took gold. But the ironic thing is the rider that rides for the United States, who was the top contender, the one who took silver, mm -hmm. was formerly a German. He came over to the, the United States and became a uh, he was formerly a, a citizen. citizen. He's probably Correct. German. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So. That's that's where I was trying to go with that. It just wasn't coming out of my mouth. <laughs> no. I scarily, I know exactly what you meant. Yeah, you yeah. do. Well, I, we've known each other long enough. I mean, <laughs> how many episodes? 130 you say that, plus episodes. You say that every time we talk, we've known each other long enough. Goodbye, long enough, <laughs> plenty long. Yes, and on well, that, that's cool. oh, yes. speaking of speaking yes. of, I sent you uh, the other day, uh, mm -hmm. early last mm. week, I, I sent you a, a link to. <laughs> A store that I didn't know existed. I know it was awesome, just yeah, because of our experience with this particular person who was in the yep. store. And and this is Jeremy. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna caveat this with something is right. I will, and, and there's two parts to this. I would happily end our podcast Already? on one interview. With and that him. is if we ever were, if we were ever able to have Jeremy Clarkson on our podcast, I would say that's enough. I don't need any more podcasting. I'm done. That's the, good night. That, good night. Yep. On that bombshell. What if Jeremy said, this is my favorite podcast ever and well, I will be on every week if you invite me. That's the second part to this. All right. I, I don't think we could end the podcast if Jeremy Clarkson was a guest on our podcast because be our listenership so would go merch. from two to at least five. I would, I'd think even more like 10, maybe 10, maybe he's 10 a farmer. Now a lot of, because he's a farmer. Yeah. Have you watched the newest, um, the, grand tour has, Oh no, I haven't. I thought you were going to say Clark. Yeah, the, farm. the, the third grand tour is out oh, an cool. hour and a half long. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I'm going to say it was not the best one of the three. Okay for this for this season because you know they've changed their format now so now okay. it's just you know how that in whenever they did grand tour or when they did top gear they would yeah. have their sit down in the studio yeah. and then they do this segment then they do a, and the like whole a long audience story has to stand while they're doing right it. exactly and then they would do that long the long story which would take yeah. up probably two-thirds of the time and then they'd come back into the studio and do it mm -hmm. well they've eliminated all the studio stuff and now they only do those those long form films oh, so they're about okay. an hour and a half where they're just you know taking cars or boats or whatever they are out and and talking about them and and doing and that's what i think most of the viewers probably enjoyed the most which is why sure. they've done it this way so this is just the third installment of the <clears throat> third grand tour season or four okay. not third and uh so they have a new one out, and it's all about American cars. So they all have cars from the 80s. Okay. You know, uh, James May has a Cadillac. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, Clarkson has what was he driving? I think he was. Oh, it was a it was a Lincoln. Okay. Um, and then uh, what was uh, what was the little guy? Hamilton. Hammond. What was Hammond. he driving? He was Richard driving Hammond. a Pontiac. Uh, he was driving a Pontiac. Okay. Um, which uh, they're you know those massive front ends and stuff. It was <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So I would I would encourage everyone to watch that one. But anyway, Clarkson now has, and I don't know if it's now, but he he we found out about it now that he has a store that has a whole bunch of merch on it merch with site. his sayings and 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 <laughs> his face and the face of the the three guys. Also, which I didn't see in the store, but where I got the link from because I've, I've followed Jeremy Clarkson on Instagram uh-huh. is one of the characters from the farm from his farm show Mm -hmm. the one you can't understand even though he's speaking english you can't understand they have a (laughs) t-shirt he's got his own t-shirt i'm like i want that t-shirt oh i the the best part of that guy aside from the fact that he's usually laughing and speaking at the same time and clarkson (laughs) truly has no idea nobody does you can pick one or two words out and that's it but it's Clarkson looking at the camera that's the funniest part of when that guy speaks. Because he does it and he goes, <laughs> he just does the askew view to yeah. the camera. It's hilarious. Oh, it's but, it's so well done. And he just, yeah, it's 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 very, very funny. What did you think was the funniest of the merch items? Because something just well, that one was. Right away. That yeah, one I'm was, sure. I, sure. I love, I, I want, let, I'm going to take it in two directions. There's some that are funny that I would never get, mm-hmm. but there's some that aren't necessarily as funny that I would definitely want. Like the, they have a, a graphic of the tractor and it uh-huh. says Lamborghini below it. Yes. I love that one. I That's would wear awesome. that one all day long. Yeah, that would be um, good. And then of course, James May saying cock <laughs> or pocket. I love the one where they had the cutouts. You could see the body, but the face wasn't in. So mm-hmm. you had May and you had Clarkson and then you had Hammond. So these guys are all about this tall and Hammond is about this tall <laughs> yeah. on the side. Yeah, hilarious. that was good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So the reason I haven't gotten into as much or the current Top Gear season, I still have, I was late to the party with Top Gear, not Top Gear, the Grand Tour. Mm-hmm. I was late to the party with Top Gear and Grand Tour. So I'm years behind and You're I want to watch the other ones because they're so much fun. Yeah. And you know, they're younger and and I mean, so these are 10 or more years ago, the yeah. ones that I'm currently watching. And uh, so anyway, I'll I'll get there eventually. But uh yeah, I don't want I want to skip to the new stuff because it's just so much fun watching. Oh, some of the tours that they do and uh in countries where we can't even imagine going. Right. Uh, and, and, oh my gosh, it's, it's just, it's hilarious, funny stuff, but it sets up perfectly for Clarkson's farm yes, because it's, it's similar humor. And you might say it's British humor, but it's really more Clarkson humor because yeah. he sets that together so perfectly anyway. But, yeah. Yeah. A joy to watch. So well, it, awesome. I would also recommend if you don't already follow Clarkson on Instagram, because yep. he posts, he posts pictures. If you haven't seen the farm yet, he actually, he and his, well, it's not his wife. I think it's just his girlfriend. Girlfriend. But they have a farm stand on their farm. And yes. it's an actual farm stand. You would think it was fake because, for the show, but it's not. It's an actual farm stand. And people, that's. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's just for like a regular old farm stand. But mm-hmm. people do the pilgrimage out there just to see if they can meet him. No question. So the place is always packed and they're always posting pictures uh, on their Instagram. They have a line of cars waiting to get in. And and the reason I laugh about it is just because in stocking it it, on Clarkson's farm on the show, it's so funny to watch some of the stuff they've been through with Mm -hmm. the the yellow water. <laughs> which brought about the bottles were yellow unfortunately it made the, yeah. the spring water from the farm look yeah what did they name people. the spring water i forgot oh, it was Oh, i can't remember it was that was pretty funny too oh my they, goodness and it's oh what's the name of the farm stand because the far, the name of the farm stand is also very sarcastic it is I can't um recall i can't remember what it is but yeah look it up it's it's hilarious it's oh not you good. i was talking to our listeners you were talking well you kind of are a listener but I talk so much. Uh, uh, 
farm and this and and see now with the video store. i can't cut this part out diddly it's squat john diddly with his squat face. Farm uh, diddly shop. squat that's right <laughs> yeah, diddly squat pretty funny <laughs> which i think it's is right about next what to they uh, earn they earn about yeah. diddly squat from the farm stand. yeah well they it's the amazon deal they can make up for it i'm sure i don't <laughs> think he's hurting whatsoever <laughs> yes i think you're absolutely right <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. So going back to your, your yes. moving, what are you going to do? Are you going to? Well, we are not sure yet. So we're closing uh, mid September. And okay. uh, so we have a little bit of time. We're looking for rental properties um, because, I, and I was kind of working on Lisa. And I think I had her moving in the direction of maybe she'd consider a, a class A RV a nice diesel pusher or something because we looked uh -huh. at some i told you yeah and and they're some of them are massive and they're they're really nice to drive and nice to ride in and sure the problem is i was envisioning middle of the night last night since i don't sleep at all since we're moving to homelessness um i was thinking okay so we pull up into this spot for camping which we have to pay for incidentally after paying for this used diesel pusher because new they run about three hundred thousand dollars depending on right. what kind you're getting um and we park it and we have really no way to get around how do we go hmm. get groceries well the harley except where am i putting the harley i have to tow it or i have to uh, tow yeah. a car or right, or you have to get a box trailer or something like or, that. Or something. And Lisa has to follow me with our car or mm -hmm. whatever. So it just doesn't make an awful lot of sense. If we have to go that route, because honestly, rentals are every bit as tough to get as buying a home in Florida right oh, now. Oh, yeah. They're, oh, they're everywhere, just, not just Florida. That's true, but especially Florida. They're crazy expensive, number one. And number two, they're just... Uh, they're going really fast. <laughs> I yeah. did an inquiry on a uh, house that was for rent uh, last week or earlier okay. this week in, in, in Florida. And I got a reply back relatively quickly, a few hours. And they said, sorry, that one's sold. And that's it. Or that one's wow. rented. That's it. Nothing like, I'll keep my eyes open. Tell us exactly yeah. what you're looking for. We'd love to engage. Nope. That one's gone. Hmm. Thanks for inquiring. Now I now 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 we see an avenue for our consulting gig outside of the automotive industry. But they think like our, a lot of our dealers right now who have no inventory. They have no inventory, so why would I go any further than to say, right. "Sorry, we don't have any." They're not thinking ahead. No, they're not. And that's that's scary. That's well, so scary because the that's... thing we used to talk about in the car business, Nick, was that we'd have, you know, the moment you'd say. Somebody'd call for a specific vehicle. Nope, that one got sold. Okay, thanks anyway. Yep, thanks for calling. The next vehicle that's traded in would be that exact car. And you go, oh, I should have gotten his phone number. Do you think? Right. Yeah. And, and it's, yeah. so, and it's not doing anybody any favors. Hey, how about if I keep my eyes open? If I see something that comes in like you're looking for, do you mind if I give you a call? Well, I guess that'd be all right. Well, thanks. Yep. Yep. It's easy to and do. You, it, it is easy to do, and you make more money. So I'm going to use – I'm having similar house housing experiences. Yeah. I'm not selling my house, but my mortgage not broker yet. is one – not yet. I've used this mortgage broker now um, on two houses, and two. this is be my second refi with, with them. Okay. And they're fantastic people. Do they – are their fees a little high, or do they take a lot? Yes. I They could probably go somewhere and have fewer fees, but mm – -hmm. The fact is that she does, and it's a husband and wife team, but she does the initial stuff. Mm -hmm. She's always keeping her eyes open for everything. So, you know, I start thinking, hmm, you know, I'm looking at everything. And I think we talked about this. I'm, I don't remember, but, you know, I, I don't think I want to refinance because I have a really good rate from the last time I did. And, and, and I don't, you know, unless it drops a whole point, sure. then there's really no point, pun intended. Well done. And I was just starting to get to that point where like, I'm starting to see things. I'm starting to see rates that are getting really close to that one point. I'm like, I 
maybe maybe we need to to look at this and i could really pay off some debt and i'm looking at all the comps in the neighborhood and a lot of houses yeah. are selling like that you know hotcakes mm -hmm. like you're talking about mm -hmm. like maybe i should next thing i know here she comes lisa hey lisa's calling hey lisa what's going on she's, and she's really excited she's got everything laid out already she's already pulled the credit and she's all i mean because i'm i'm fine because i mean this is she always has my best interest Mm -hmm. And, you know, we are in the process now of refinancing again because, I mean, she was on it hmm. and, and they're busy. I mean, they are busy. They, they're so busy, especially right now that they've, they used to be just the two of them. And now they're bringing on people just to help them keep up. Wow. But the fact is she is so good at follow-up. I'm not the only one that she's contacting, you know, I'm one of very many that she's working on at one time, but I'm impressed by that. That's you know, smart. that's why, that's why I'm okay giving more money to them to do this for me. And I know that at the end of the day, I'm going to save money on my mortgage. Mm -hmm. We, and in this case, we are paying, we are wiping out virtually all of our debt, except wow. for the house. We'll have house and one of two car payments because we're going to pay off one that. of the cars. We're thinking about paying off one of the cars mm -hmm. too, because it's not, there's not much left on it, but mm -hmm. you know, so <laughs> wiping out, I mean, when I say wiping out debt, I am, I do realize folks that I'm just adding debt elsewhere, but well, it's yeah, but at a lower rate at and, a lower rate. And my, you can stretch the term out where you can't on a car loan or a exactly loan or whatever. And my payment is lowering a hundred bucks a month. It's huge. Yeah. So, you know, it just makes sense for us to do it. So, and, and that, that goes to, I'm sorry to interrupt. That you know. is directly in the point that we've talked about before about leasing a car mm -hmm. where, Oftentimes, and it's not just in the past, but often in the past, we would have people whose cars were coming to the end of the lease and we could actually lower their payment and get them into a new car. Yeah. And so we would call them and say, if we were smart in at our store, we did because I made them call them and say, hey, I was looking at your numbers. It looks like you're coming up at the end of the lease. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Well, I saw something that I, I thought about and I said, you know what, Bob needs to know about this. Uh, you do what you want to do. I can get you into a brand new, same model you have now, or we could change models. But if you go with the same, about the same equipment, zero miles, I can get you into one and save you about $100 a month. How would that sound? What? Yeah. <laughs> you can do that. Excuse and me. it was it was a crazy methodology, but the value of the cars at that time were such that uh, and the residual well, rates they were so high. We're we're in the same situation right now, technically, and yes. and we we just went through that with Jen's car. So mm -hmm. we had a lease. You did. Leases, That's right. The lease was coming to an end in September, so mm -hmm. we're in a point where you know we got the pull ahead option if we go back to the the same manufacturer. So we decided to to capitalize on the market right now, and I knew I only go to uh, stores that I know that people will. I know the people basically. Yep. So I, I called up one of my buddies and I said, Hey, this is what I want to do. I know you guys are hurting for inventory. So you can, you know, let's, and I took your advice and, and had them instead of just returning it, actually buy the car. Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hit my desk. Mm -hmm. Um, we went in and so, you know, Jen was at a, a mid-level trim mm -hmm. with cloth seats, good technology. It had a, a premium package, but good technology. And she was able to upgrade mm to the next level up, which is more premium, not the premium, but more premium. We mm -hmm. looked at the, the high end premium, which we still would have gotten a, an exceptional deal on, but she didn't like the, the seats and the heads up display. She didn't, she's like, mm -hmm. I don't, that's too much technology for me. Understood. So now she's got leather seats, the full tech package. She's got everything fully loaded and we're saving uh, $200 a month. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. So she stepped up in a value in car yeah. for less. Yeah. Awesome. And that's, I mean, and, that's, and you know, people sometimes argue, they say, well, yeah, but you're in the lease now for 39 months or whatever the yeah, term is. So? And, and well, that's just it. Uh, for people who lease, typically what we do is we define a certain amount of money every month mm -hmm. as being for a car expenditure. And you can either spend it on a lease where the vehicle's under warranty or 
I tend to believe you can spend it and then put money away to handle repairs that are certain to come if you're on a used one that's right, you know, 10 years old or what have you. Yeah. Um, and if you drive a Mercedes, double what you put in the bank every month. So for I, repairs. Sure. I've heard about that. Uh, yeah. That's, I don't know I anyone that drives one of those. I can't afford it a Mercedes. I, yeah. Neither can I. I have, my Chevy Chevette <laughs> is really working out well for me. So I don't want to change. You can see me getting in a Chevette. Yeah. I'm sure. But to to your point, you know, it it it's different for everyone. So I yep. have friends that they drive the wheels off of a car. Yeah, me that's too. they always do. And so leasing doesn't make sense for them. Sure. But I also know we are a good example that we trade cars every two or three years, mm -hmm. anyways. Mm -hmm. So we're never out of that loan unless we have cash to come up with, which is getting increasingly hard to do. Yes. Trust me. That we are going to be paying the bank no matter what. So yeah. why not do a lease? Because right. like you said, it's in warranty the entire time. Yeah, I don't have to replace the tires unless yep. something That's horrible correct. happens. As long as That's we correct. take care of the car, like I take care of everything else, mm -hmm. I'm going to get more miles out of those tires than probably anyone. And they're mm -hmm. still going to be in good shape. And then, you know, we get a new car after three years. It's, exactly. it's, a, it's a great idea. It's, it's a peace of mind thing too for us yeah. because we travel then mm -hmm. if if our wives are in these cars while we're gone we know if something goes wrong well for lisa it's press a button that's all she has to do right same same with true jen. For jen all she has mm -hmm. to do is let them know you've got warranty you've got you've got roadside assistance you've got all of these things that are included and it's just a peace of mind for us when we travel right absolutely yeah. so so that's that's my spiel for cool. for well everyone done. listening and yeah I know but back to the house you know that's I think that's exciting for you guys and I I hope you do we do have a really good homeless community here in Bellevue Tennessee oh, good so I have a if tent. you I have a very nice tent good yeah it, no, I'll show nice you it's right by the river it's nice it's on the Greenway it's very very nice yeah nice. They, good fishing just, there I I think so yeah um <laughs> a lot of uh golf ball fed. <laughs> Because it's right behind the golf course, I so see. I um, really did think, uh, and I'm still a little bit in the camp of an RV, mm -hmm. a nice one. And we started talking about this before we started the show. Uh, I could see one, especially the diesel pushers. They're just uh, with the rear rear diesel engine. You can get one that's 15 or 20 years old, and you can get them pretty reasonably considering how expensive they are from the factory. Um, and I could envision something like that, but then not only is it moving and mm -hmm. putting less stuff than you own into, <laughs> into this vehicle, although they have great storage underneath, you know, so you can do but that. But you don't need that much stuff because you're not taking that much stuff with you. Remember well, you're selling all of it. True. Well, yeah. So our buyer, uh, is a, and I think I can say this without, I don't think she listens yet. yet. Uh, but she is a recent, uh, divorcee. And so she has, this is going to be her house. She needs the room for kids to come and visit and so on her kids. And, um, but she needs furniture. So she has offered <laughs> to buy our furniture and much of it anyway. And, uh, so we may not have much to move after all we'll see there but, you go yeah problem solved well Crisis yes, averted. yes and no although we have to go spend a bunch of money to buy stuff when we get when we move into the house sure eventually. but uh i so i don't it's kind of that getting into the rv lifestyle that you and i have talked about mm -hmm. since i was diagnosed with cancer that's when i started thinking hey rv <laughs> that would be great yeah, i don't know why i thought you were going to say diagnosed with the potty mouse podcast i was diagnosed with that about the same time I think. yeah and that's I, which I, one's worse couple Who knows? Of transplants <laughs> <laughs> oh wow but try to get into that lifestyle as well when you're moving when you're going through a major you know life change and all of that i, I don't know i'm not sure I, do I want to be hooking up the uh, sewer pipe at a uh, RV park? I don't know. <laughs> don't that's either. and that it's that's if the hardest thing. If you come and help me the first couple times, I'd probably yeah. be fine. Kind of like oh. the the movie RV with Robin Williams. <laughs> yeah, have like you that. seen that movie? I, I if you haven't seen that movie, seen the, oh no. yeah. Oh, you right. need to go watch that. After I watch the Goonies again. 
No, I would even say before you watch the good, because Goonies, you're going to get addicted to, and you're going to watch it over and over and over again. This one, you'll probably only watch two or three times. Okay. It's But anything with Robin Williams. I mean, it, you, you can't go wrong with, with good old Robin Williams. <laughs> I agree. It's a funny dude. I do yeah. remember when the movie came out, which was the 80s, 90s. What, RV? Yeah. No, no, no. It was uh, early 2000s. Was it? Yeah. Maybe even okay. in the teens. I'll have to and now now you're gonna make me look it up. It yeah, was, I'm gonna make it was not up. it's not that and old. Our listeners can watch you as you're looking it up. Yeah, exactly. Look at, he's looking at IMDB his phone. is my friend. Yeah. Hey, there's a software update on my phone. Oh, thank goodness. I, I was know, wondering right? when you were is it a flip phone still? Yes. 2006. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Not in the nope. teens. Nope. Nope. Almost though. Okay. I remember hearing about the movie, never saw it. Yeah, probably you should. Good. It's good. Nah, oh, come on. It. Yeah, no, you probably I'm scared you put it already. Up there with it's yeah, <laughs> it'll it'll scare you off of yeah. RV life. Yeah, that's probably but why I should watch it. I don't think you are nearly as clumsy oh, as oh, as Robin clumsy. Williams in the movie. <laughs> I have watched enough YouTube videos to know what not to do. <laughs> Let's yeah, put it that way. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that YouTube was not really that no. huge when he was doing the <laughs> no, RV trip. I don't think so. Yeah. I do not think so. So anyway. But it's worth a watch. Anyone who hasn't seen it, I, I really would encourage you to, to watch it. It's yes, it's please. campy, of course, but listeners and you know, viewers, uh, campy. Right. Yeah, I see campy. what you did there. Yeah. You can uh, let us know if you liked it when you watched it. Yeah, maybe head up to uh, make it under advisement. Head up to pottymiles.com and let us know what you think. And yeah. speaking of, one other place I, I would encourage anyone who lives in the Nashville area, I'll, I'm just going to throw that out there. Do it. Wink, wink, wink. Wow. Jen's Dance Studio has been yes. nominated for Parenting Best Of. Woo! Yeah, so we, we have to get all the votes. Uh, votes started on uh, uh, August 1st. And where do we go? And are going through August 31st. Where do we that go would that? be nashvilleparent.com slash uh, B O P hyphen 21. B O P to one hyphen 21. Yeah. Yeah. Natural parent. Got it. I'll be voting. And what would I be? Because you, for? but put your address in Nashville. Okay. Because I know you have Your a house. Nashville down here. address. Your Nash sure. Nashville address. Um, you will be voting there. for. Uh, you scroll down. Scroll. You scroll, scroll down. Scroll. And you go down. to select your region to cast your vote. You select Nashville. Yeah. I didn't even look to see if we're in Williamson, but. Um, and then you go down to. Best enrichment, and there should be a drop down there that says best dance studio, and we are right at the top. And when you say we, what does that mean to our listeners? Uh, my wife's. I, I own 10%. That's I what I tell people all the time. Well, what's I own the 10%. name of it, though? Oh, Bellevue Gosh. Performing Arts Center. Parenting. I'm looking for destinations. Best of our city. Best shopping. Best of parent. Enrichment. There you best are. Best dance studio. <laughs> BPAC. BPAC. Bell that pack. is wonderful. No, it should be Bellevue Performing Arts Center, center all spelled out. It the is the very top one. Okay. It is. You yeah, they don't they didn't put Bell Pack. Reasons. I don't know why. Thank you for your vote. Done. Boom. Sweet. Yeah. So if you only get one vote, you know it was me. Well, then I'll have two votes because I voted today too. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, huh? You're okay. I only own 10%. That's not voter fraud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm putting that's no, gonna be part of the title. Fraud. That's not voter fraud. That is not voter fraud. Yeah. I'm I'm changing the title format for this week. Okay. That's not voter fraud. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's not voter fraud. Oh, there has to be more. You're gonna listen to more. I'm sure. You're gonna I'll, say oh, I probably to will. Yeah. In. There's too many, too yeah. many to choose from in this yeah, episode. I'm afraid there are. Like that's diesel usually sure. <laughs> right. Do you, Which diesel pusher I, voter I fraud. I don't want to be if the diesel breaks down. I do not want to be a diesel pusher. Yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> Very good point. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, John. Yeah. You know, anyway, better Nick, get back to our our the daily grind of life and yeah, regular uh, scheduled programming. I'm gonna go share my potty miles with the world. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I have our church T-shirt on, and I'm not wearing black. 
I thought you were going to say I'm not wearing pants. You I, aren't wearing black. That is a first. Uh, yeah, I think it probably is. So tell yeah, my mom. You're... <laughs> mom, I'm not wearing black. Well, you better go back to church. I'm sure I'll be dribbling on. Yeah, we're doing a, it's a, in our town, I'll just do a quick shout out for this. In our town, it's called Real Community. The church is Real Hope Community Church. Real Community is a, like a mission trip to the town we live in. So there are families that need help with their houses or a deck fixed or something like that, yard work, whatever. Uh, Sure. We nominate them and uh, offer to help and so oh nice um my team which includes lisa and our friend matt and his wife carrie we um we handle the meals so uh and and i should say the lunch and dinner meals because there's a separate group that does breakfast and so we they pack lunches every day so we have sandwiches ready for them and yada yada and at dinner they come back all the workers and we make dinner for one to two hundred people every wow yeah, every night for this Wednesday through Sunday. So it becomes quite a <laughs> working on menus and, and all of that stuff. But it's cool. And Lisa That's awesome. and Carrie do all the work, which is even better. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do plenty of work, don't you? I just try to stay out of the way mostly. You smile and nod. Yep. Uh, that's what I do. That's yeah. Life's the life uh <laughs> life expectancy of of a husband that doesn't is yeah. Very short. slim to none. Yeah, it's very Indeed. short. Slim women. Yeah. That too, sure. <laughs> all right. Homework. I'm going to go golf now. So do it. All right. You have a fantastic rest of your day, folks. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you again next week. And uh, we had a great time speaking with you or at you today. Uh, head, once again, head up to pottymiles.com. Check out our socials. Boom. Yep. Yeah. Boom. Sub- click and subscribe and all that junk. You know, smash the like button. Stop doing that. So I'm just trying to be like I'm just trying to be like the YouTubers. I mean, why don't we you see get all them the time? To try to be like you. That's a good point. I'm just saying. From now on, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Have yep. your hat crooked. You'll see in the next cro- episode. Crooked hats, like, and they go right. What's up? Here's what we're gonna do this week. We don't know. Ha ha. Like ha. Potty mouth. <laughs> but we aren't we copying somebody? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Anyway, maybe. folks, we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good have a good one. See ya.